Right, I'd like to give a brief appeal to for people who um, are unaware of satanic ritual abuse and the reality and the prolific practice uh, generationally and consistency of this reality in Great Britain, in Europe, in America, all over the world. And just to appeal to any anyone viewing, anyone come across this video uh, just to examine all the witness testimonies of, of this uh, practice and really to do it for to shatter the illusion of um, its non-existence and, and that it's a satanic panic or it's a conspiracy theory. So I just want to invite people on behalf of uh, all the victims who are brushed over and crushed and ignored and they remain with this burden carrying this cross these people I can speak from my own experience these people are broken spirits and that it's a miracle that these people can survive day to day and still manage to speak openly about their experiences it takes great courage to put your face on on the media to have the whole world look at you and be under the microscope of criticism and doubt so um a lot a lot of my testimony has been on the back of these people coming forward so i'd like to encourage people to consider these people reach out to these people and do something in your own power to break the illusion of this uh this practice um not happening and to be aware and find out for yourself that it is happening um, I've, I've created a playlist uh, called Sat Satanic Ritual Abuse and this is through research and it covers a vast array of various testimonies I've examined I don't, um, I believe I wholeheartedly in all these stories and all these witnesses because they are real and there's no um, fakeness it's not for attention it's simply somebody sharing the truth and uh, I'd encourage you to look at that playlist and to um, examine or do your own research and reach out to make do something to bring this uh, awareness to the public body and to put pressure on the powers that be to actually address this crime instead of covering it up and denying it and and, that, and using the public ignorance and the predominance of the public ignorance to keep it under wraps and all the efforts made to keep this crime under wraps because this is a uh, endemic and it's uh, associated to high level high level compromises in authority all throughout all throughout the system. Um, but don't trust what I say, um, just uh, do your own research so that uh, people will be made aware of the reality of uh, satanic ritual abuse. And from my own experience, and I don't want this video to be about me or necessarily the victims, but to make people aware for you and people who don't know about this, to make them aware so they can make a stand or do something towards this, post a video of research, host um, giving an interview, anything you can think of to do to highlight this uh, this reality and get behind doing something to break the ignorance and the spell over the, the public's denial. And there's a lot of uh, money invested in um, going after it and shutting it down. A lot of trolls are put on to people to discredit their characters and um, all, all the uh, testimonies or witnesses on my playlist um, I don't approve of some of the, the people's uh, ne necessarily all their beliefs or some of their behaviour there's been um, a lot there's a lot of vulgar language there's a lot of um, toy throwing but but you can understand why these people are angry and frustrated and uh, there's a lot of trolls that uh, 
walk over these people and try and dismiss what they've experienced and a lot of people involved in it to, to assassinate their characters and dismiss their testimony. So it takes um, public support, public awareness to put pressure on the powers that be to, to address the problem and to face it, to face it in the square run in the face because if, cause it, cause of the ignorance it continues to happen these people continue to suffer but not only the, uh, the, the, the victims of it, the, the current people who are going through it um, and also I'd like um, to consider that uh, and encourage people who are who've experienced this to document their own experience and not be afraid of what people think but to be bold and give your give your testimony of uh, your abuse however however painful that, that may you may find that however fearful you may be but um, but not to fear but to um, my advice would be to seek if you if you don't know the Lord Jesus Christ to seek the Lord for his, his strength and courage and his love and forgiveness and mercy to lift you to be able to uh, stand boldly with what, what you know and what you don't know and to get it out there into the public domain and uh, that will encourage other people to step forward because there's always new people coming forward with the same account of similar areas um, and there's, it, there's a similar thread of patterns, it's uh, ritual satanic abuse, uh, incest, paedophilia, uh, sacrificing of children and animals and it all ties into many, area, many areas and there's many crossover areas that link into it, MK Ultra, targeted individuals and to examine all of these areas and you'll see for yourself the uh, crossover and the links and the association of those who practice it generationally and where that root where where that stream comes from where that is rooted in and so I'd like to just encourage people to uh, not dismiss it so readily but to seek understanding to seek knowledge to seek the evidence for yourself then you can make other people aware to do something to highlight and shatter the illusion and denial and um, I'll, I'll leave that uh, invitation in the name of my Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen.